fall is the time for migration. Along with ducks, geese, and the typical snowbird, there's another group of feathered friends gearing up for their yearly trip down south, but you won't see these in your typical flying V. Raptors migrate south during the winter months when their yummy morsels are scarce, but being a raptor, they do it a little differently than most birds. And here's how. Seasonal science brings you raptor migration. Step one, find a flyway. So forget the flying V. If you're a raptor, you want to find a flyway, a route along a mountain or river or a coast that creates the right conditions for soaring. Updrafts or thermals let the raptors coast along without using much energy. Each raptor species has a different timetable and destination and many use different flyways. Step two, watch the weather. Flapping is super costly physiologically, so the weather is key in aiding the journey. Turns out that one to three days after September cold front, when the conditions are right for updrafts and thermals, that's the ideal time for most raptors to hop on board the solar train and book it down south, especially if you're an obligant soaring migrant like the broadwing hawk. If a raptor happens to miss this ridiculously small solar window or there's a poorly timed hurricane or a drought or a heat wave, the migration could be thrown off and an entire population can suffer. Step three, make frenemies. So raptors are solitary and competitive normally, and most raptors like eagles and harriers stick to these solitary ways and take a more leisurely pace down south hunting as they go. But during migration season, raptors like the broadwing hawks forego all that competition nonsense and coalesce into large groups called kettles, hundreds, sometimes thousands of broadwing hawks on their way upwards and down south. Young birds find older, more seasoned mentors, and the more birds there are, the easier it is for the group to find a thermal. And step four, settle in for the duration. Once they're all settled in in their southern locations for the winter, they do what raptors do. They sit back, relax, shred some serious small mammals, and get ready to do it all again when they head back north in the spring.